When you decide to customize ACT CRM by adding new fields, you may think that this is a daunting task. Not only that, but the Create New Field feature is only available of the expert tier of ACT CRM. If you're not on that tier, you can still get the field you want by modifying an existing field. ACT CRM comes bundled with 10 extra fields that aren't being used by default. So in this video, I want to show you how to modify one of the current fields that already exists in your ACT database. You can find these 10 generic unused fields on the User Fields tab for any contact record. Currently, I'm looking at the detail view of a contact record. At the bottom, when I click the User Fields tab, you'll be able to see the 10 fields. For this video, I'm going to change this first field from User1 to a field named Budget. And then I'm going to format that field so that it shows currency. To begin, I'm going to go to my Tools menu and I'll choose Define Fields. This is going to lock the database and will require all other users to log out. So it's best to perform these steps when no one else at your company is using ACT CRM. When the Define Fields window appears, I want to make sure that I'm viewing fields from my Contacts table. Now if I scroll down on my list of fields, I'm going to locate the User1 field. Click it to highlight it, and now we will edit this field. I'm going to rename this field from User1 to Budget because I want to keep a record of each contact's spending budget. Now I need to choose a field data type. One of the great things about ACT CRM is the variety of built-in field types that are available. You can check out the help area for a complete list and explanation of all of these field types. Because my budget field is a field involving money, I'm going to use the currency field type. Now since I'm changing a current field, ACT gives me a warning that says if you're changing a current field to a different type, it may result in the loss of data. I'm fine with that because I know I've never used this user1 field before, so I'm going to click yes to continue. The allow blank box is checked by default, and this just means that the field is not required, so I'm going to leave it checked. For generating history, I do want to check this because anytime the budget field gets changed, I want to create a history record so that I know when it was changed. I don't want this field to be a primary field for duplicating records, and I don't have a drop down list that I'm going to use with my budget field, so I'll click Next. Now for field behavior, I don't have a default value that I want to put into this field, so I'm just going to leave it blank. Next, I need to set the number of digits that appear to the left of the decimal place. In other words, how big will these budgets get? Well, I don't ever foresee a budget at $100,000 or more, so I'm going to set this first number to 5. And that just means that the most I could ever enter in this field is $99,999. I also don't expect any numbers to appear to the right of the decimal value because I'm not talking about cents here. So I'm going to set this one to 0. And finally, I'm not going to link this field to any other fields, so I'll leave this box unchecked, and now I can just click Finish. This takes me back to my Define Fields window, and now I should see that my Budget field appears on the list. Because it was one of the 10 unused fields provided with ACT CRM on my User Fields tab, I know that the Budget field is going to already appear on the layout. So let's go there now. If I click Close, I'm going to look up one of my contacts, and on the User Fields tab, I know that this first field is now the Budget field. If I try to type any letters, ACT CRM won't let me do it. But if I enter a number, like 5000, and then I hit Tab, it'll format this field to be a currency amount. So now the only thing I need to do is change the label to the left of it, so that it says Budget instead of User1. I'm going to go to my Tools menu at the top, hover over Design Layouts, and then choose Contact. This opens up my Web Layout Designer. I'm going to maximize that screen and then go down to my User Fields tab. Notice that the first field, the label says User1, but the field is my Budget field. And that's because this is the field I changed. So now all I need to do is change the label to match. So I'm going to double click User1 and I'll type Budget. And that's it. Now all I need to do is click the Save button 
and then go to my file menu and click exit. Now when I view the user fields tab, the label matches the field and they both apply to the budget.